In long ago Babylon, 4,000 years past, Ishtar was worshipped as queen of the stars and goddess of all creation. No being was more beautiful, more powerful, or more terrible. And our objective basically was to bring a picture book to life. We would kind of mimic uh, what we did experience in the school-wide performance where we would uh, break off into different groups, uh, be they actors, lighting crew, sound crew, backstage, and uh, work within those groups to change the classroom setting uh, into some sort of theater. The challenge was taking what we've learned from a school-wide performance and then bringing it into the classroom. I remember your floor plan. It was brilliant. The floor plan involved taking the desks and building them up into our prop or our backdrop because we don't have a stage. Whose idea was that? We all worked together to make the floor plan. And um, we decided that we'd use the desks. Originally, our audience was supposed to be on a diagonal, but some people wouldn't see some of the actions. So we continued to devise more floor pens, and then eventually we came up with this. So, like, two skills that we did learn is to devise a social, I mean, um, a floor plan and to take criticisms. I like to have control of everything. I like to monitor everything. and. With this type of assignment, I did risk take and I gave the students a lot of creative input, which they should have, because this is what we want to instill in them. So we took it from picture book form and then we put it into script form. However, you critiqued me that day. What did you tell me about the script? Seta? When we read the script together, we saw that um, it weighed too much on one narrator or that Tammuz didn't have a certain line, so it didn't sound quite right to our ears. Thank you. A lot of energy also uh, was expended, and, and it was well worth it. One day we came after school at 3 o'clock until 4 o'clock, and we discussed how we wanted to set up the thing and how we could, like, form the production. What else? What else? Uh, feed, yeah, feedback. feedback. Help each other out. The students provided feedback for each other in the perspectives of their jobs. For example, the backstage provided feedback towards their jobs. The lighting provided feedback. Everybody has a gift that they can contribute. That feedback was important, extremely important. I participated in the Legends production, and Ms. Gilbert said that I spoke too fast. So I practice at home so I can speak at a good pace and clarity. It is my mother, Ishtar, who holds the power of life and death over all. Sometimes she will bring storms, hail, and thunder down upon the earth. Sometimes, even in her dark mood, she will bring terror and destruction of war. I, Tammuz, her only son, fear her strength and unpredictability. So when you give someone um, criticism, you, I really want to put it in the nicest way possible so they don't feel bad. The backstage could have prevented some noises and accidents during the production, but it actually happened. But for future re a reference, we should be more careful. During the production, uh, I could see some of the backstage crew at the back. Well, it's kind of hard because the classroom is small and there's not much places to hide in here. Is there any way that you could be completely invisible? So to speak? Um, I don't think so because I had to tell um, Tanusha uh, how um, to where the light goes and everything. In the classroom, we didn't have the luxury of space. And so we had to improvise and we had to look at various things. And even the lighting crew said, well, Mrs. Scott, you know, the blinds are, you know, they're not functioning. There's a lot of light coming through. Um, but those are things we had to discuss and we had to just accept that there were some limitations. Um, there could be like more red or blue lights, even though I know we had some problems with that before, but probably like, probably you can just take crepe paper and the presentation would be more effective with more colors. Um, we tried that, but it didn't work. It wasn't bright enough, so actually it didn't even show the light. Also, we can't put anything on those lights because it would also melt it because it gives off lots of heat and it will extremely cause a fire hazard. 
the challenges, there were a few, but the benefits far outweigh the challenges. And so you don't even really, you don't even remember those really, that uh, they did such a great job. Tammuz, Tammuz. Yes, mother. I have decided that I shall send you to live on Earth. As Tammuz descended down to the planet Earth, wondrous, even miraculous changes occurred. Wherever he walked, the Earth brought forth fruit and crops and the green of the land. The birds and the animals followed him in the sound of the flute for sheer joy, and the people welcomed him and loved him dearly. They called him the Green One. Looking down from the heavens, I see all as well. I am content. Tammuz will serve the earth well. But as time passed, Ishtar began to feel that Tammuz was adored too much and that his power was rivaling her own. Her heart hardened. In calling her messengers of war and terror, she ordered them to kill Tammuz. My son is to walk the earth no longer. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I yield to a mighty power and obey full heartedly. Oh, hello, messenger. It looks as though we have a growing season this year. The trees bear plentiful fruit. Fruit that you no longer eat. As commanded by Ishtar, I set you to death. I also equate success with self-advocacy, meaning that if a child or a youth in this case knows that he or she has a weakness, that he or she can come up with ways or find out ways to deal with that weakness. And really when they experience that, um, it's huge. It really is enlightening. I learned to speak more clearly and loud and also self-confidence because if you act in front of an audience or a crowd, you build up your confidence to speak in public more often. We collaborated to formulate those success criteria. I had to pick and choose from all the groups which ones I felt were the most important, and then I devised the tool for them. I enjoyed developing a success criteria because when it's made by you or your peers, you kind of understand it more so you know the steps to success. If I follow the success criteria, I know that um, I'm probably going to pass, um, actually going to get a good mark on, on a task. One group might take on the task in a very different manner than another group because they have also come to realize that within their groups there are different individuals. The sun hit Tammuz's face as the young man's blood seeped and ran down into the earth. Tammuz descended to the dark underworld, the home of the dead, where Latu, Ishtar's sister, ruled. She welcomed him with grim pleasure, for she hated her sister, who lived on the sheer light of the sun. Nephew, you are welcome here. Although I reside in darkness, I pledge that I will never do you wrong. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must feel to be betrayed by your one and only mother. I thank you for your acceptance. On the upper earth, after the death of Tammuz, all growing things withered and died. The crops and grasses shriveled, the leaves curled and fell, the birds fell silent, and the earth grew barren. I like working in a group because you also get things done faster, and you also get um, other ideas from other people to help make like an, an idea better. It was quite fascinating to see that I just kind of um, went into the background and they had complete ownership of the entire, um, of the entire task. So it was actually, it was quite, uh, it was quite nice. A dull sadness came upon the world. As the rivers and springs ran dry, hunger and thirst followed. The unhappy people cried out to Ishtar and as each day passed, the prayers grew more and more desperate. They were all engaged, and I attribute that to the fact that it was drama. They like drama. Finally, Ishtar heard their prayers. When she came down to the earth, she found the earth bare. The meadows without grass or flowers, the birds huddled and silent. She saw the sad, tired faces of the people and heard their laments. 
Ishtar's heart was touched with pity. What have I done? Pain, struggle, despair have caused it all. I pledge to you that I will make this right. I shall go down to the kingdom of Alatu and do battle for Tammuz with my sister. Today was a perfect example of when the reflection was so important. It was interesting when I asked them, well, what do you think we can improve upon? That many of them felt that we've, we've, we've actually attained perfection. It, it was great to us. <laughs> so that was kind of neat. I did get some suggestions to, to polish further, uh, to move ahead. Uh, however, it, the conversation then took a shift to that appreciation of others in the classroom. Sintu and Nitusha, you don't really see them talking much in class, but today you actually heard their voice. Like, it was booming. Like, you could actually hear Nitusha and Sintu's voice loud and clear. I think one person that really should be recognize at this moment is Kimberly because she had a really huge part narrator. She usually doesn't talk but she um, managed to pull the narr narrator part well. I have to actually thank the backstage crew which did very good. May we all, just as Tammuz, appreciate and respect our Earth and its remarkable gifts now and forever. Interestingly as well, we are segueing into reading because what was communicated at the end of the performance was an understanding of a universal theme or moral. And we currently, in this grade seven class, are talking about non-literal comprehension, symbolism, uh, again, the universal theme, foreshadowing, um, simile, metaphor, and so we are going to segue into that. What themes have been conveyed in this presentation? Are these ideas universal in application? Selfishness is indeed destructive. Who is more valuable than our family and friends? Never should we take them for, grant, uh, for granted. Also conveyed has been the theme of environmental protection, sustainability, and preservation. In this day and age, our Earth and its well-being must be a priority. A few things to ponder as we step further in the uh, into the future. Thank you. A lot of students enjoy doing drama. It's more fun, it's more laid back. It's, it's better than the traditional pen and paper or learning to a long lecture. You learn a lot of different stuff because the way Miss Scott did it, she pulled in the language um, literacy component as well too. So we kind of worked on our language active proofreading skills or us doing learning target and success criteria. So it can, you can also tie in a whole bunch of different subjects too. While doing drama, I've learned how to uh, communicate with others in a more formal and professional manner. I didn't think I could do it. I really didn't think I could do it. But sometimes we kind of just have to let go. And we have to see what the students are really interested in. The students exhibited such a high level of enthusiasm and focus that I knew I was on the right track and um, I, I wouldn't have uh, traded this experience uh, for anything else. Sorry.